guys, Coach Dan from BaseballStrengthBlog.com back with you. And I'm responding to a question from, I believe his name is Bren. And the question is in regards to long toss. He's got four to six weeks before he walks on to try out for a college baseball team. He's an outfielder. And the question is basically, I've been working real hard on my skills. What, what kind of long toss program should I get into so that my arm's in best condition to walk on? And the simple question, on my, the simple answer on my part is to say, go check out jagersports.com. Uh, Alan Jager has quite possibly the best long toss program I've ever seen. So there's the simple answer. The more complex answer is to really get into the habit of going out and long tossing whenever your arm feels like it. You're, it that kind of sounds like a very simplistic, just do whatever you want to do type of answer. But long tossing is like like any other type of conditioning. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And you've heard runners talking about the runner's high. If you know any long distance runners, they crave running. If they don't go out and run on a day, it's absolutely the worst day in the world. And the same thing happens with your arm. When you get out and long toss, and I don't, I don't mean 90 foot long toss, 120 foot long toss. I mean, you get out, you really back it up, you air it out, not so concerned with throwing it on a line. Go ahead and get the ball up in the air, uh, throw it at a nice 30, 35 degree angle, get, get some air under it, really loft it out there, and let the ball travel as far as possible. You do that for one day, the next day, maybe your arm doesn't want to do that. Maybe you go out, maybe you throw 90 to 120 feet, and your arm's happy with that. Then the next day, maybe your arm wants to throw a little bit longer. And you might have days where you throw farther, days where you don't throw quite as far. But what you'll notice is that the more you get out and throw, the more your arm wants to throw. Your arm is really gonna wanna, it's really gonna start to crave the long toss, get it out, loft it out, air it out, stretch it out, whatever you want to call it, your arm really needs it. Your arm loves it. And I'm not even worried about bringing it back in and throwing line drives right now. You've got four to six weeks to get your arm in top shape. Spend the next three to five weeks just airing it out, just getting the distance, putting air under the ball, getting your entire body involved in the throwing motion from the ground up. When you get out, maybe you, maybe you back it up to 280 feet. If you back it up to 280 feet, maybe you stay there for five or six throws. Then a couple days later, maybe you're back there for 10 to 15 throws. Maybe a week or two later, you're back there for 50 to 60 throws. Your arm is really going to develop some great endurance that way. And then the last week or two before you report to school to, to walk on, that's where you bring it back from your farthest distance, which might be 280 feet. Could be any distance. But that's where you start to bring it in and you start working on throwing line drives. Work on, on really, really bringing, bringing your throws down. Because if you think about the throwing mechanics, a lot of coaches will tell you, we don't want you to throw the ball up in the air because that's not how you throw in a game. But really, if you're lofting the ball up, that's the exact same throwing mechanics. We just have your hips tilted a little bit. So if we bring that hip tilt down and you throw the ball on a line now, you're gonna have a little bit more core action. You're gonna have a much faster arm and your lower body is going to be involved a lot more because you worked it on the long toss. So when we start to bring it down, you're going to have a lot better throwing mechanics to throw it on a line. 
So I mean, that's a very simplistic explanation of it. Alan Jager over at JagerSports.com goes into much, much greater detail on it. And I've actually, if you're on the blog, BaseballStrengthBlog.com, um, if you scroll down, there's a link down below to a conversation that myself, Alan Jager, and Paul Reddick had uh, just a few months ago regarding the long tossing. So check it out. It, again, it's very, it sounds very simplistic. It sounds very, just go do what you want to do. But really listen to your arm. Your arm is going to tell you the right thing to do. Don't go out the first day and try to throw 280, 300 feet. It's not going to happen. Throw the distance that your arm is comfortable throwing, and you'll gradually progress from there. But I say gradually. Gradually just means that you're making improvement on top of improvement and not making huge jumps, but you're going to make fast jumps. You'll see very quickly after a week or two of long tossing that your arm feels so much better. You wake up in the morning and, and your arm is your alarm clock. Your arm says, hey, hey, big guy, let's go out. Let's go get a ball. Let's go get your glove. Let's go throw something a pretty good distance. So your arm is really going to start to love it. And your arm is going to tell you exactly what you need to do. So listen to your body. Get out and start tossing.